Let's talk about getting to yes. I'm not going to read the whole thing out, but I, I wanted to take three examples of people that I've worked with. Um, this chap, uh, you know who Anthony is. Oh, you might. No, ah. I don't think I do. Okay, I'll remind you off camera, just because I don't want to... I don't want to reveal your privacy, Anthony. <laughs> um, so he joined our group. Uh, he attended one investor day. We used to do investor days. We started off once a month and then we moved it up to once every two weeks. And investor days were that means by which we put people in a group uh, and we presented to them in a group. We told them all things that could go well, all things could go wrong and how they could uh, benefit from working with us, which was to lend us money and um, do joint ventures with us or um, buy deals from us. And we primarily at the beginning talked about about buying deals from us with, with some JV working. We didn't initially talk about lending money because I wanted to make sure I liked them and they liked me and we got on well before I'd even ever broach that with them. So he joined a group and then unfortunately for him, he had a family illness um, which took him out of investing for quite a long time. And the person recovered, which was amazing because they're actually quite young, but it just meant that he had to step back from that life. However, in the meantime, he was getting deal after deal after deal coming through, through text and through uh, through the email so really that just gave him social proof that we were doing stuff but clearly he he had to step back then he came back in and he said well because of the family illness that we had to um, have um, we've actually decided that we can't be so hands-on as we may have originally liked to be we need to still uh, uh, kind of recoup our strength as a, as a couple and make sure I look after the person that I love so can you do all the work please yeah, okay, no problem. Um, and so we uh, looked at verifying him. He went on to joint venture, two phone calls, two face-to-face -face meetings, and then we agreed Uphill Road, which was a two-bedroom maisonette in a very nice, posh, nice middle-class part of Bristol. The kind of area where um, a nice doctor or a nice dentist would buy a nice investment flat, and it'd be a nice young lady who would live in that nice flat. Do you, do you know what I mean? You, you've got, you know, areas like that. Great. So we were supposed to buy and sell that property. Touch points to getting to yes, Eight, touch a, a time frame a year because of his circumstances. Do you notice I didn't push him at all? He joined, wonderful, and then he went quiet and then he reassessed his circumstances. He came back and he proposed, this is what we're going to do. The reality of that deal was that um, we bought, uh, we got it sold, which was great. We bought it, I think, for 120. We sold it for 164, 500. Fern and I were in Rome at the time. We were actually in, the, the Vatican, um, and I remember taking the phone call. From, it went on the market on the Saturday, and was it Saturday we were in the Vatican, uh, hanging out in Rome, and I took, I took the call, I had to sit down on the marble floor and take the call to say we'd sold the property. And I was like, oh, that's brilliant, but I was kind of like, I really like this estate agent. I was like, oh, that's a shame, because I wanted to like meet with you every week and find out how the sale was going, but well done, Debbie, I'm, I'm really impressed. And as the sale, pre and we sold it to a downsizing 55-year-old, which was a surprise to us because it was a maisonette, two floors. Okay, interesting. However, as the sale progressed, as, uh, Simon kept bringing mem this was his first property, so he, he was very, very proud of it, and we had done a very nice job. He kept bringing members of his family in. Look, look what I've done. Look what I've done. Isn't this exciting? And of course, they liked it. And so eventually he phoned me up, he went, um, I'm really embarrassed, but could we keep it? Yeah, no problem. We just agree the same, exact same profit share. You know, you pay us out and just keep it and refinance it. So that's what we did. So you'll not see that one sold on land registry because we agreed the sale at 164500. And after two months of showing his family around, he actually just refinanced it, kept it and, uh, and paid us our profit share. It was a, a shame for the estate agent because they didn't get so paid, but there you go, it happens. So happy outcome.